Let's go. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we're off on another European away day. We're off to Norway, off to face Bodo Glimt in the second leg of the UEFA Conference League playoff round. Now, we're down 3-1 on aggregate. We lost at Parkhead last Thursday. And to be honest with you, it weren't a great performance from the boys. So it's currently Wednesday. It's about six o'clock in the morning here in London. And I'm getting ready to go travel from my flight over to Oslo and then connecting flight from Oslo to Bodo where it's up northern Norway above the Arctic Circle on the map, as you can see right here. But yeah, it's a long way to go. I can't wait for it. Now, the ground that Bodo didn't play at, it only has a 4,000 capacity. So there's only about 400 Celtic fans there today. But don't worry, I've got a homestand ticket. I'll be there in the middle of the madness in wintry conditions. They're predicting a thunderstorm for the day of the game, which... Honestly, I'm not looking forward to. It's about minus four out there right now, and it feels like minus 10. So we're gonna have to wrap up warm anyway. These layers won't do us any good. After a poor performance on Thursday, we looked to scrape back a result as we have any hope of any European football this year. But don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna be too disheartened if we do get knocked out this competition tomorrow because we've got the league. We've got the league, and if we win the league, we've got the Champions League, and that's all we care about. This third division of... European football, yeah, love to win it, love to go far in it, it'd be great, but it's not the main goal here. We're focusing on the league, we're currently three points ahead at the top of the table, and that secures a bit of Champions League football in Europe next year, and that's all we're worried about. We don't need to worry about this competition or anything else, but it'd be nice to win it. And look, it makes for a great away day. So, like always, I'm on the hoops. <laughs> Just here in Bodo now. It's the day of the match, the morning of the match. It's about half ten here at the moment, so it's an hour ahead from UK time. But yeah, it's very nice, snowing now all around us and very picturesque. So but yeah, looking forward to the game. Just gonna head on up to a pub now. There's a sports bar nearby. But yeah, I'll just take a second. Look at that. Look at that. It's lovely around here, so it is. But yeah, just gonna head up to a sports bar now and uh, get on it and yeah. Kickoff time, 5.45 UK, 6.45 here. Yeah, on the hoops.
So I'm just back home now, day after the game, and I'll tell you one thing, there's only one word to sum up that performance. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. That performance the boys showed, there was no heart in that side at all. There's only one man I can name on that pitch that showed any, any part he wanted to win that match. That was Joe Hart. He's the only man on that pitch that looked like he wanted to win that tie. Everyone else just going about, just... They couldn't be arsed. They couldn't be arsed. And that's why we're out of Europe now for another year. We turned out with some support. We packed out the away end and we put on, we didn't stop chanting from minute one to minute 90. And we still kept our heads high at the end of the day. I think last night's selection showed that Ange just weren't serious about this competition. That he wanted it out of the way and he wanted it out of the head. And he gave some of the lads a bit of a run out there on the pitch. But yeah, it's disappointing not to be through in this competition because, look, you want to win everything that's ahead of you. But we move on. We move on to Sunday. Move on to the priority, which is the league title. We travel to Easter Row to play Hibs, and we should hopefully all come back with them three points at the end of the day. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then again. I'm on the hoops.